guys, so today we are actually on our way to get some gear kind of designed at one of the uh, local shops in town. Um, get some sweatshirts designed with our logo on them, get some t-shirts, some long sleeve t-shirts. We just need some stuff long overdue, uh, especially now with the videos to kind of be wearing our own stuff. Uh, so excited to meet with these guys, get some things designed, but uh, Jeremy and I were talking and we wanted to do a video of how we kind of got hooked up and, and together. Uh, we get some questions. How does a 30 year old get tied up with a 19 year old? And the story is actually uh, pretty funny. Um, if you guys watched our Evo video, you might have heard a little bit of it. I am a full time uh, health and phys ed teacher. I'm in my eighth year currently. I had four years at the high school level and four years now at the intermediate school level, third, fourth, and fifth grade. So in my first couple years, Jeremy was actually a student that I had and it was funny because the guys that I even worked with had very little knowledge of, of the cars that we were kind of dealing in and something uh, we really didn't talk a whole lot about and a lot of people um, really just at the time thought we were buying cars, kind of fixing them up when most of the cars we buy we never do that, they're already done. So Jeremy was keeping a close eye on us uh, through eBay. And I remember he was a freshman, and he would be asking me these these questions about the cars that we had, and you could tell right off the bat that he was very knowledgeable on the market and the cars that we did have. And he would come over. We had like a little table set up in the gym where I would be working with the two other guys, and would just blow me away by some of the questions he was asking. And I would go home. My parents live close by to the school for lunch sometimes, and I would go home and I would tell my dad, I'm like, this kid. Uh, Jeremy, he's a freshman, he's our neighbor over here, he's asking me all these questions, he's got like a close eye on what we have in, in our inventory, and he's just more advanced than a lot of the other kids who are there and asking about cars, like he really has his fingerprint on what's going on. So that kind of went on, and you know, I didn't really think much of it, and I think it's coming up now on two years. Um, I contacted one of my buddies and I said, listen, like I just need somebody, if you know anybody, I don't know if it's you or you have any recommendations of someone who can help us with our social media, kind of run our Instagram at the time, a little bit more Facebook. And he said, uh, Jeremy Boyle, call Jeremy. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, he started a truck page, um, wound up selling off the truck page and he's good at, at that stuff. So I remember the phone call calling you that night, uh, really like it was yesterday and asking you, you know, is this something you'd be interested in? Is it something you think you can do? And that's kind of how we got started. And you want to say anything on that? From me being the little annoying freshman I was, asking about all the cars, I think I mainly asked you about the Super Snake the Super and Snake. the red truck you guys either had at the time or sold. At Barrett. At Barrett Jackson, because I really, I was into the trucks mostly. And I didn't know that you yeah. even had the Instagram page at Not that time. Not many people did. I Only a couple people really knew that were really close and to me. And you started that at what age? Uh, 12 or 13. So I was kind of doing social media ever since I was younger. And then Kyle approached me asking if I would help them with their social media accounts. And I said yes, and we kind of started off very slow at the beginning. We really did and then well you evolve and start learning yeah, things over yeah, time and I was in high school and I'm, now I'm in college so it's four years later ever since I'm a, it's happened when I was a freshman in high school that yeah. I was doing this and now I'm a freshman in college at this point and I remember Kyle calling me and asking me and giving me the opportunity and we started and we started that's why you were still in high school yeah that's I think I was either a sophomore or junior I think you might have been a junior yeah yeah I think it was a ju I was a junior and I was always into cars growing up. My uncle and that's when I, I transitioned, though. I was in the high school, and I was over into the intermediate school. You were still in the high school. I think you even might have been a senior. Um, but you could tell right off the bat, like, he says annoying, and it was, like, not so much annoying as curious. And his curiosity was kind of what got my attention of this kid, you know, at the time, really wants to learn and knows a lot of things that are really difficult to teach somebody. And... He doesn't even know sometimes um, you know, how impressed and how proud we are of him of the things that he's, he's been able to do for us. But it was somebody that you didn't even need to teach a lot of things that 
sometimes are just unteachable because he was into selling jewelry. He was into selling different things. Like he already knew that niche of it, but now we were just talking about cars and the transition for him. I don't even think he realizes how smooth of a transition he's made from the things that he was doing into the things that he's able to do for us now. And it just goes to show for anybody out there. And that's the real point that I wanted to make this video and I even brought it up to him and I'm like I want to do this and he was kind of like uh, do we really want to shoot that and I'm like yes because there's going to be somebody out there like him or in that age bracket who you know I was his teacher and here he is now and he's working with us side by side on, on doing everything that we're doing so there's there's definitely somebody out there who wants to do something uh, with somebody or has a role model that they want to get involved in and just stay curious let them know what your intentions are let them know uh, how you can provide value or how you can help them out and there's always an opportunity I mean now we're doing things that we never talked about doing when we first started um, and we're having a blast and there's so much that you know he thinks he learns from me but it really goes the, the other way as well I'm learning so much from him um, you know he's into the tech stuff and all the things that are are up and running and not to say that I'm behind on that because I don't think that I am but he is just so far yeah, ahead of it <laughs> yeah I mean in some regards and you just know all these different things and you know even if you're somebody like me who's, who's doing the business or running stuff like you can learn so much from having a younger person do that stuff yeah and I see it now I see a lot of younger kids not so much doing what I'm doing with the cars, but there's a lot of kids like in the shoe industry, and and that's I where I started. It. Yeah, and which is funny because see the younger kids like 12 years old. And don't be afraid to reach out to someone that is older than you and doing the same thing you're doing, and asking them, hey, can we do this, that, or the other thing? And maybe you will get an opportunity, maybe not, but don't let it bother you if you don't. Just ask for tips. I mean, yeah. it's, it's funny because. You even said, um, when we first kind of got started, you were into the sneaker game. And I said, yeah, I was into the sneaker game, the, the Jordans, the LeBrons, the exclusive sneakers. And it helped me to just know how to talk to people, how to negotiate, um, how to make people happy when they're buying something. And it's, you know, on such a small scale compared to a car, especially when you're talking about some of the cars that we have now. But the core of it is still the same yeah, and, and it's the same thing when you were doing this, the stuff that you were selling like those things remain the same no matter what level it's at and there's always people out there who would be happy to give you tips you might run into a couple people here or there who are stubborn and hard to deal with but i promise a lot of people are going to be there to help you i mean you guys do anything reach out to us we'll be more than happy to help yeah, you give you tips i've learned from a guy that i met when i was probably 13 years old off Instagram that sold watches and jewelry and designer stuff but I was into the trucks and he, I met him and he taught me a lot that I know and he's in Florida and he has his own business he has a lot of connections and he's helped me a lot lately and then I got with Kyle and he kind of transitioned me into Kyle and where we are today and he's helped me a lot and his name's Clint Aspel he's a really good guy and and you kind of have to take those steps. I mean, you can't just start off selling, you know, whatever it may be at that level. You got to start somewhere and learn how to buy something at a price where you might be able to, to, to sell it and make a little bit. Yeah. Um, even there's going to be times where you're not going to make money on it. And no. it's not, we're not going to try to make it. Do it as a hobby. Yeah. We're not even talking about it to make it about money because sometimes it's just about relationships or connections and you know we run into that it's like well we want to do this just because we want to have that connection or we're doing it because we really truly value a friendship or yeah. some sort of business relationship that we have so yeah. and when you start thinking about it in terms of the monetary stuff that's where you run into trouble yeah and when we started i was doing it as a hobby and i still am doing it as a hobby because i loved cars and I, this is still a hobby for yeah, us i grew up around it I, I, well, I grew up around cars with my uncle and my grandfather, and they kind of tapered off with them, and now I joined Kyle and his dad, and you see some cars that they get, and it's like, wow, you never see these ever again, or you only see them at shows, and it's very, it's, it's a hobby for me, like I said, because you're seeing some of these cars, and it's a great opportunity, and I love what I'm doing with them and working with them, and 
And it's great because a lot of people think that this is what we do full time. Like I'm running the business, Jeremy's running the social media stuff, and uh, it's just not the case. I'm like I said, a teacher full time. He's in college, a student full time. Yeah. He's got some other things that he's got his hands in. So. You know we're pretty diversified in what we're doing right now and it kind of takes the pressure off of us of just doing the cars like you still have other outlets where you can kind of get away from for a little bit and focus on the cars when when the time is right and uh, you know it's great I mean I love teaching I love you know seeing my students in, in that realm you know you're dealing with kids who are third fourth and fifth grade trying to help shape their lives a little bit but then when you're in the cars my favorite part of it is who, who are you going to meet? Who are you going to run into? Who are you going to establish some sort of relationship with? And you never know, um, you know, who is going to call or who's going to just kind of pop in. And we've had some, you know, great experiences already uh, with who we've been able to meet, some of the people we've been able to contact. And that, for me, is, is the, the biggest thrill of it. And, you know, the biggest thing also is, Everybody kind of has their platform of how they can help people. You know, you see it all the time with sports. Um, you know, people who are good at specific things. If it even is somebody who's a singer, actor, and they're using their platform to help people. I think, me personally, Jeremy might have a different opinion. For me, my platform is going to be cars. The way I can reach a big audience is to use the cars we have to kind of bring people in because that's what they're going to be drawn to. But then let them know that we're here to help them we're here you know to to assist in any way we can and uh, there's a lot more i want to talk about when the time is right but really just now to to let you guys know the story of how he got involved with us and also just how appreciative we are of of that yeah from being that freshman high school to now where i am as a freshman in college and i was lucky enough for kyle and his dad to approach me and say hey can you help me out with so help us out with the social media because I didn't know what I was doing then, but I know much more now, but I don't know everything. I mean, I'm still learning from guys that... And things are always yeah, changing. Yeah, you, you guys see know it's it, so yeah. hard to keep up. You got TikTok, you got Instagram stories, you got just so much stuff. Like the other day, he's like, we need to get on Parlor because Parlor might be something that's up yeah, and coming. Or, you don't know. And, and it's just, you have to try that stuff and you have to stay ahead of the curve yeah, if you're going to do it. Getting into anything, don't think you need to know everything or even anything. You can learn from people. You can learn from reading online to watching YouTube videos. You can literally learn from anything. And so the sky's the limit. It's just huge. Yeah. And it's, it's almost like you're juggling 10 balls up in the air and you're hoping to catch maybe three or four of them. There's no way you can possibly catch them all. But you got to try. You got to try that stuff and experiment and see what kind of works for you, what are you, what are you good at, there's things that he's exceptionally good at that I can't even touch, and vice versa, and we, you got, kind of have to know what things to kind of give to him, and he knows what kind of things to give to me, uh, with any partnership, you need that sort of, of relationship. And even now, I'm going to school for marketing, I'm going to college for marketing, and I already know a lot, but you still, I'm still going to go and learn from a professor's standpoint, a uh, university standpoint. Because you do not need to know everything, but the more you experience, the better you are. And it's going to give us more opportunities than down the road for when we are doing more. And it's a, a, a major credit and testament to him because, you know, there's just so much. And I kind of uh, alluded to it last night in our Instagram uh, post of how much I throw at him. And, you know, he started as a social media guy, but now he's taking pictures. When our production guys aren't around, he's the one filming. He's the one doing all this stuff. So... He's never said no to anything that we've asked him. And, you know, if he couldn't do something, I know he's going to tell me that. But he's willing to learn. He's willing to try. And that's something that I have really wanted to relate to you guys is whenever you can learn something from somebody, if they're willing to teach you, you may not think that you need that right now or, no, it's not important or what am I going to need that for. No matter what it is, really, if you have someone in your life like that, take the time to really appreciate them wanting to teach you how to do that because you just never know when you're going to be able to use that skill and it's the same thing with him you never know when someone's going to call him and say hey i saw that you're editing those videos can you help me out or you're taking those pictures for those guys can you do this for me like you never know what opportunities are going to pop up where you can use the skill that somebody you know taught you or you taught yourself yeah so sky is the limit don't forget that uh, go out and try new things and learn from people that's all i have for you and 
yeah, and even, you know, to allude of how the business got started, my dad, you know, came from the projects, had absolutely nothing. Um, again, didn't do a full-time, had a bread route, started with cars that were much, much, much cheaper, uh, obviously, than what we have now, and you just have to build, and we've been talking about it a lot. The biggest thing is patience with everything. Like, this stuff does not happen overnight, no matter what it is you're doing. Um, just takes time, takes patience, and it'll happen. I mean, it 100% will happen, and the patience is the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we struggle with it. It's like, you know, we want to do so much stuff, or we want to see results and in, in, in things, and you just have to be mindful of, um, you know, these, everything takes time. Nothing is, is really going to happen overnight. Nope. No, it doesn't. It doesn't happen overnight, and you need to network with people, like we've said, and it's just that's it huge. comes over time networking is huge you don't realize it and you see it you know that cliche of you kind of are a combination of the three closest people that you spend your time around and i have seen that kind of come full circle um since covid happened i mean the people that i was around when covid happened is completely different than the people i'm around now and you know for for one example is um you know juliano we talk to juliano all the time and have somebody like that who's constantly on the go, constantly hustling, kind of motivate you and you take on those skills of being passionate about what you're doing, which he is. And it's just, again, make sure you are mindful of the people you're, you're giving your time to because it has such a major influence on you that sometimes it kind of goes uh, unseen. I spent a ton of time with him and uh, hopefully I'm being as much of a positive influence as, on him as he has been uh, for us. For sure. <laughs> I mean, you've helped me a lot through everything, and I think we got a good thing going here. Yeah, we're excited about what we have. Like I said, a lot of this stuff we we never even had on our radar, and that's another video we'll be doing uh, here shortly. But we definitely want to touch base with you guys on how did this relationship start between me and him. Uh, you see, and we get questions all the time, like, how did you get hooked up with Jeremy? Or Jeremy gets asked, how did you get hooked up with Kyle? Because... You know, there's an age difference, but age really doesn't mean mean a thing. And, uh, you know, when, when it's the right fit, it's the right fit. And it was. And we couldn't be happier uh, to have what we have right now and, and looking forward to the future.